Jack. Good morning, how are you today? Very good, thank you. Thank you very much for coming and joining us. And of course, thank you very much for speaking this morning. It's a, it's a great time. The WBR uh, always does a great job with the show and it was good to see a bunch of old friends. Excellent, so maybe if you could tell us a bit more about your uh, chosen topic this morning. The presentation today really talked about the four eras of commercial imagery and it goes from looking at the advances in resolution and accuracy, which are pushing towards the limits right now, uh, I talked a little bit about the speed, so the time it takes to take an image and then get it to a user, uh, dramatic improvements in that over the last five years or so. Uh, and then I closed with talking about uh, content, and content is really where it's all about these days. Uh, Lance had started it 40 years ago, but we're seeing more advances in sensors, uh, and more and more people are figuring out ways to manipulate all of those bands to discover new things. So this is really, I think, one of the biggest things is this interoperability and collaboration. Uh, what are some of the, the, the biggest, um, well, projects that you're working on collaboratively, and, and in, in that, what some of the biggest challenges have been? Well, I, th I think the, uh, obviously, collaboration is a huge theme here, and I'll, I'll do a real quick shout out for the MGCP, because I, I heard so much about that over the last couple of days. Uh, probably the best collaborative geospatial effort in, in the world. Uh, from a Digital Globe standpoint, uh, we've got one product that we're really excited about, and it's called Global Base Map. Uh, and it, if you think of individual country mosaics uh, that are seamless, they're, they're gorgeous pictures of a country, uh, those are, are some of the things that we're really focusing on. And what we're uh, expecting to do over the next year is move to a time where every day when images are collected, uh, they're merged into these country databases so that you truly get a, a constantly refreshing picture of the world. Uh, and we think that there's a lot of opportunities both for government and commercial users for that. So I think it's one of the biggest changes that I've noticed certainly at DGI is this move that it's become more than just defense. As you said, it's, it's governmental, it, it's mm -hmm. institutional. We're starting to see a lot more of the emergency services and similarly getting involved in what kind of changes have you seen as one of the uh, vendor companies? Uh, certainly I would agree with you and it's been really interesting to watch uh, the commercial. The governments are very mature in their, their use of imagery and their use of geospatial uh, information but more and more we're seeing commercial companies who didn't even realize that it was important are finding that they can do their business better more efficiently by using geospatial information. Uh, certainly the emergency preparedness and emergency response is key uh, and that's one of the things that Digital Globe can offer is with our satellite constellation uh, we can get pictures quickly over emergency areas and we've developed some products that uh, uh, countries and companies have bought so that they can respond when there's some emergency over their particular area of interest. Fantastic and uh, I think one of the other big areas that a lot of people have been talking about is of course the, the standards issue. It, it, it's, it's always there, it's always present, but it seems that for the first time some real headway is being made. I, I, would, I would agree with that. I, I, the uh, uh, Open Geospatial Consortium uh, has done a fabulous job of pushing standards over the years. Uh, and I won't say that they've put themselves out of a job yet because there's more standards to build, uh, but they truly are the unsung heroes in this industry for everything that they've done to be able to push and implement standards across all of these nations. I don't think it's one of those uh, things that could ever really stop as battles go. No. Because uh, the technology is going to keep moving forward, which will create the need for new standards. That's right. That's right. More, more and more sensors uh, are going to need to be uh, standards for metadata and attribution are going to be need to be developed uh, as we go forward. So the work that they've done, they've laid the framework and I think uh, it's going to be uh, easier to do in the future than it was in, the, in 10 or 15 years ago. Now, one of, talking of uh, I suppose collaboration of a sort at any rate, uh, one of the most uh, obvious <laughs> gaps that we've noticed here is, is that of course GOI have not got a presence here. Uh, uh, and in many ways, uh, you, not personally, but you as a company are responsible for that and that you've uh, merged with them. We, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, we've used the word combination and it's, uh, it's really important uh, for both companies to view what is about ready to happen as a combination. Uh, Digital Globe's Constellation is performing really, really well. Uh, GUI's analytics and value-added groups perform really, really well. So it uh, truly is a, a match of equals, and we're looking for great things with this combined company. Uh, the one thing that I'm absolutely certain of is 
uh, the, the, the focus on customers that GUI has, the focus on customers that Digital Globe has is going to continue in the future. Critically important to Jeff Tarr, our CEO, uh, and the entire executive team to make sure that the level of customer service that we've provided in the past doesn't get impacted by the bureaucratic kinds of things that we're all about ready to go through. Well, hopefully those are all going to get ironed out reasonably quickly as you become one organization. Yes. We're, what, sorry. No, we, we're, we expect that it'll be done uh, relatively quickly. What do you think some of the, 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 the biggest developments are going to be that come out of this merger? I think uh, being able to manage a constellation of five satellites is critical. Uh, we're going to be able to be more efficient in how we do our collection. We will uh, be able to service a new line of, of customers in terms of those who are interested in more frequent revisit. So instead of in the past we had three satellites that we could bring to bear on a constant revisit mission, uh, now there will be five satellites that can, can be brought to bear on those missions. So that, that's the thing that I think really gets me excited about what, uh, what we're in for over the next uh, uh, year or so. And then the other part with the value added uh, expertise that UI brings, uh, understanding how to rapidly orthorectify imagery and, and build the products from that uh, superb uh, group of professionals uh, at GUI. And I'm expecting that uh, when we get the two technical teams together, they're, they're going to uh, uh, probably struggle just for, for about a minute, and then they're going to move on to the next best thing and have fun, uh, fun developing new capabilities. It does sound great, but I, I, I do have to ask, you know, when two big and important companies like yours get together, there must be some serious challenges as well in making that merger oh, sure. smooth. What, sure. what are, are some of those? Oh, the, obviously the organizational challenges, there's duplication of facilities in some cases. Uh, it will, well, I, I'll use an example of myself. When I've talked to staff, uh, GUI was fully booked with, with work and Digital Globe was fully work, booked with work. Uh, but I was the chief information officer. There's a chief information officer at Digital Globe. There's only going to be one chief information officer in the new company. Uh, and so, uh, so there are those kinds of challenges. But uh, we're moving on and we'll, uh, we're going to deal with those kinds of things. Fantastic. Well, if people do want to find out more, I assume uh, that the, the, as your stand is Digital Globe, that that's the name that's staying? That's the name that's staying. Uh, Jeff Tarr will be the chief operating officer. We'll be announcing the next level of leadership uh, next, I believe it's next week. Uh, and we'll also be like, uh, announcing the board membership uh, as well. So uh, those kinds of things are, are important. The, the organizational part of this uh, that we've really been focusing on so far, though, is on day one of the, of the merger, uh, we want to make sure that every employee knows who their boss is and who their organizational chain is. And so we've spent a lot of time on that. Well, thank you very much. And of course, best okay. of luck to all of you. Great. And um, yes, if people do want to know more about the developments and see how things are progressing, where should they visit? We're going to have a microsite that's linked to our uh, website that will give everybody all the details that we can release. From digitalglobe.com, I see. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks a lot. Cheers.